today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really pretty fantail shell stitch infinity scarf. It is the perfect accompaniment to your fantail shell stitch fingerless gloves, which I also have the tutorial for. If you click the little eye icon up there, it will show you the video or I've added a link in the description down there. This is taking the fantail shell stitch, which is the top section of my gloves and just putting it into scarf form. You can do this as one long scarf, but I particularly like it wrapped around your neck because then you see the whole colorway all folded together. This particular colorway that I've used is called Zen. It's the Signet Boho Spirit again, which is absolutely, oh God, it's just gorgeous. I can't stop working with this stuff. I get mine from Snufflebean Yarn. Quite a lot of people asked on the gloves video where I actually get it from. I've popped a link in the description to where I get it from. She does ship internationally, so you don't need to worry about trying to find it if you're not actually in the UK, because you can still get it online and it is just gorgeous. This colorway in particular is my absolute favorite. <sighs> Already, I have a cat that has joined me. Yes, you, but hopefully he won't get too involved. He's just having a scratch and making everything wobble. Fantastic. Okie dokie, so using this yarn, you can use any yarn you like, but I just particularly love the Boho Spirit because the color changes are so gradual. You can see it, how it goes all the way through. Now for this infinity scarf, I used a ball and a half, approximately ball and a half. So it makes it quite a bargain as well, because this is not wildly expensive yarn like some are. So you can actually get quite a decent sized project out of a ball or two. So this scarf is enough to go around my neck twice, but obviously you can make it as long or as short as you like. You don't need to join it. It's joined, let's see if I can find the join, here we go. It's sewn together at the end, just with a simple little whip stitch. So obviously, if you wanted to leave it as a long flat scarf, you can. And I shall get on and show you, hopefully without the cat, how to make this pretty fantail shell stitch cowl, infinity scarf, flat scarf, whatever you want to call it. So let's start. For the fantail shell stitch scarf, I am going to be using a four and a half mil hook with the Signet Boho Spirit yarn. This scarf works for any size. It's totally up to you. You can use big fat chunky yarn and a big fat chunky hook or really fine yarn and a fine hook. Completely your call. The pattern itself calls for a multiple of 10 plus 2. So when you want to get it to the width you just chain 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 for as long as you want, for however wide you want your scarf to be. And then you add two chains right at the very end. So I found that to get this sort of width, which is quite a nice width for around your neck, I start with a chain of 40 plus two, so 42. So you're gonna start with a slip knot. If you don't know how to do a slip knot, I've got a little tutorial, which I've linked to down there in the description. And for this scarf, let me just move my camera. You're going to chain 42. So to chain, you just yarn over, pull through the loop on your hook, that's one. Yarn over, pull through the loop on your hook, that's two. And keep going until you have 42 chains. Feel free to pause this video here if you want to, and I shall meet you at the other end when you've chained 42. So that's my two, and I'm just gonna carry on and do 40 more chains. Okay, so that's my 42 chains done. As you can see, it gives quite a nice width, several cat paws width. Yes, thank you. So like I say, you can chain for as wide as you like, as long as you use multiples of 10, and then add two at the very end. 
So for the setup row of the fantail shell stitch, you are going to be working into the second chain from your hook. The sloop on your hook doesn't count as anything. It's from that first chain hanging down. So not the first chain, into the second chain, you're going to put a single crochet. And then into the next chain, you're going to put another single crochet. Then you're going to skip three chains and you're going to work into the fourth and you're going to put in your shell. Now the shell consists of three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet. If you don't know how to do any of these stitches, I have a whole little playlist showing you how to do the individual stitches, which I'll link to underneath. But for now, I'm going to assume that you already know how to do a double crochet, single crochet, etc. So into your fourth chain, you're going to put three double crochet. That's one. That's two. Three. Chain one. And put three more double crochet into the same chain. forms the shell. So whenever I ask for a shell, that's three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet, all into the same stitch. So skip three chains into the fourth, single crochet. Chain one, skip a chain and put a single crochet into the next. Skip three chains and pop a shell into the fourth. So three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet, all into the same place. Skip three chains and pop a single crochet in the fourth. Chain one, skip one, single crochet in the next. Skip three chains and into the fourth, I'm going to put a shell, three double crochet chain one, three double crochet, all into the same place. Skip three chains and pop a single crochet into the fourth. Chain one, skip one, single crochet. Skip three and into the fourth, you're going to put your final shell. So three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet, all into the same place.
So now, if you're following me with your chain of 42, you'll have two single crochet right at the beginning, and then you're skipping three chains all the way along, and you're doing a shell, single crochet, chain one, single crochet, shell, single crochet, chain one, single crochet, all the way along until you get to the last of your chains down here. You should have five chains left. So you're going to skip three as always and pop because you're at the end, you started with two single crochet just next to each other. So you're going to end on two single crochet. No chains, just skip three, pop a single crochet in each of your last two chains. Just two single crochets on their own. So you should have four shells for your setup row. Now the fantail shell stitch from this point on, this is just your setup row, so you've done your foundation chain, your setup row, is a four row stitch repeat. So the next four rows we're going to do are the four rows you just repeat on and on and on and on and on all the way down your scarf until you get it to the length that you want it to be. After a while, you won't even need to think about which row comes next because you'll be so used to doing it. But feel free to, I will tell you for each row, which row it is. So if you need to rewind and remember what's row two, what's row three, etc., etc., then that way you'll have the stitch pattern down and you can refer back to it. So we are going to start row two, which is the first of the four row repeats that you're going to need. So row two, chain two, which counts as a half double crochet, and turn your work. And you're going to pop a half double crochet into the same place that you just crocheted from where you just did your chains. So you can see this stitch here, the very first one, it's your last single crochet from the row before. Hopefully I'm not making it sound too complicated. You're gonna pop a half double crochet into that single crochet, the last one you did. It's a half double crochet, like so. So your chain two counts as a stitch. Then you are going to chain three. And into the chain one space of your shell, so in between the sets of three double crochet, into this gap, you're going to pop a single crochet. Chain three. Cat hair, surprise. And then into, it's a little bit hard to see using this yarn, but into the chain one space between your single crochets here, you are going to do a half double V stitch, which is a half double crochet into that gap. Chain one and pop another half double crochet into that same space. Chain three. single crochet into the chain one space of your shell. Chain three. Half double crochet V stitch into the chain one space between your single crochets. So here, it's a half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet, all into the same place. Chain 
chain three. Single crochet into the top of your shell into that chain one space. Chain three. Half double crochet V stitch into the chain one space between your single crochets. Chain three, single crochet into the top space of your shell. And you can see we're right back at the other end now. So you're going to chain three and pop two half double crochets into that very last single crochet. Technically it was your first, but the last, very last stitch of this row. Just two half double crochets on their own, not a V, just two half double crochets. That's one, two, right into that same space. And that was row two. Row three, chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch. Turn your work and into that same space that you just chained from here, you are going to put three double crochets. So you're crocheting into the top of that last half double crochet you did. into this chain three space, single crochet. Chain one, and then into the next chain three space, single crochet. Then into the chain one space of your half double V stitch here, you are going to put a shell just like on this setup row, which is three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet, all into the same space. This space here, the chain three space, single crochet, chain one, skip the single crochet and into the next chain three space, pop a single crochet. Into your half double V stitch, pop a shell, three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet. Single crochet into your chain space, chain one, single crochet into the next chain space. Shell into your half double crochet B stitch. single crochet to the 
the chain three space, chain one, single crochet into that last chain three space. And then to end this row, you are going to pop four double crochets into the top of your chain two. That's your half double crochet, that's the chain two. You're gonna put four double crochets right into the top. Hopefully you can see where I'm going to this bit here. Try and catch two strands of that chain if you can. Don't worry too much if you can't. And you're gonna pop four double crochets all into that same turning chain. And that was row three. Row four, chain one, turn your work. and into the top of that last double crochet you did, where you've just chained from, you're going to put a single crochet. And then just like in row two, chain three, half double V stitch into that chain one space in between your single crochets. So half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet, all into the same place. Chain three, single crochet into the top of your shell, to that chain one space. Chain three, half double crochet V-stitch, in between your single crochets. Chain three. Single crochet into the top space for your shell. Chain three half double crochet V-stitch into that chain one space between your single crochets. Chain three, single crochet into the chain one space for your shell. Chain three, half double crochet V-stitch to the chain one space Hopefully you are getting the hang of it at this stage. Chain three, and then you end your row with a single crochet into the top of your chain three that you did earlier. So if you're unsure of how to find that, you can actually count your double crochets back. So that's one, two, three. So I know that this here is my fourth. So you're just going to pop a single crochet to the top of your turn, turning chain. Say, so try and catch two loops of your chain if you can. I don't know if you can see that I've got two there. Just pop a single crochet into the top. And that's the end of row four. And then step five, this is the final row repeat of your four. So many numbers here. I will explain it again in a minute. So the final row, chain one, turn your work. Pop a single crochet right into that same stitch that you just came from. So single crochet right into that single crochet. And then single crochet into this chain three space here. Full shell into your half double crochet V stitch. So just the same as before, three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet, 
all into that same place. single crochet into your chain three space, chain one, and then single crochet into the next chain three space. Shell to your half double crochet v-stitch, single crochet into this chain three space, chain one, single crochet to the next chain three space, shell stitch into your half double crochet V stitch, single crochet into your chain three space, chain one, single crochet into the next chain three space, shell into your half double V stitch, And then to end, you pop a single crochet in this chain three space, and then a single crochet into the top of that single crochet that's sitting there. Oops. So that is your four row, ignoring this, that is your four row repeat. So you just keep repeating steps two, three, four, and five over and over and over until your scarf reach whatever length you want it to be. So I have hopefully made it quite clear which is two, three, four, five, etc, etc. After you've seen this visual guide, if you prefer to have a written reminder of which steps are next. I have written the full pattern on my blog, which you can link to down here, so you can see, because that all seems quite overwhelming when you're just watching this video, and it's quite a long video because I wanted to show you all the steps in between. So it can be quite a lot because you're probably now thinking, what on earth do I do next? So if you pop to my blog and you'll get a mental reminder of which is the next row. So in the next row, you'd be starting with a chain two, and a, double, a half double crochet here, all into the same space. Chain three, single crochet, chain three, half double V stitch, chain three, etc., etc., all the way back and forth. And I promise after a few rows, it will become second nature because you'll get used to visualizing which row you're on as you're crocheting. So hopefully that all made sense. If you have any questions at all, feel free to comment down here or comment on my blog or find me on Facebook or on Instagram, etc., etc. I will do my best to help you and congratulations for making it through this entire video. Kudos, you've earned a cup of tea and a biscuit and I hope you all enjoy making your beautiful fantail shell stitch scarves, which you can wear with pride when you have your fantail shell stitch fingerless gloves on at the same time. Hopefully you found this useful and I look forward to seeing you again in my next video. Thank you.
Bye. Totally forgot to mention, if you are more of a chart person, there's also a chart for this stitch pattern, the fantail shell stitch on my blog too. So you can have the written pattern, this video to help, as well as a chart. Hopefully I've ticked all the boxes there. And I look forward to seeing your makes on Instagram. Be great if you tagged me, hashtag hooked by Robin. Let's call it that. I don't know. That sounds like a decent hashtag. And I shall see you all over there. All right, thanks. Bye. I'm really going this time. Bye.